Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Marvel Crisis Protocol for the channel and in today's 19 threat match the Web Warriors are going up against the Cabal and both sides are short in number but bringing some heavy hitters. Let's go take a look at the specifics. So the Web Warriors usually have more models than this. They're not super strong but they're good at nabbing objectives and then running a mile. But the theory behind this list is what if they brought along a bit of an OP God of Thunder to help them out for a little bit. So that's what they've done today. <laughs> Being led by the amazing Spider-Man at the top right of your screen, bringing Gwenum and Scarlet Spider for their first showings on the channel. And then it's a third party sculpt but it's a stand-in Thor model for the newest version of Thor affectionately called Thor 2 by the community, which I believe is actually called Hero of Midgard, despite his abilities not being named after Midgard, but that's besides the point. So, he's going to be here, and he is their heavy hitter, and they'll hopefully hide behind him with some objectives, I guess. And their tactics cards, if we just scroll down right there, Ant May's Wheat Cakes all webbed up, Patch Up, Venomized, and Masked Menace, featuring J. Jonah Jameson. And making his first appearance on the channel in a long, long time, the Cabal is being led by Malekith on his ridiculously large winged tiger. And he's been patched a couple of patched, you know, rebalanced a couple of times since we last saw him, I think, to bring him a bit more less OP. He's still 7 threat, so he's still going to represent that type of threat value, but he's not as OP as he once was. And we'll see how new Thor does against him today, amongst other things. He is bringing along the newer version of Ultron who comes with his Ultron drones. The Ultron drones can get brought back onto the table with destroyed scenery. Then we also have Ulik the Rock Troll, very thematically against Thor list this. And finally just to fill out 2 threat we have Bullseye for backline objective sitting. And their tactics cards if we pan over here just a smidge is Midnight Phantasmagoria Rock and Troll Warpath Dark Rain and Glory of Ultron. And here is the two crisis cards being played today. Intrusions open up across city as seals collapse is the threat value. On the secure and the extraction is the Montesi formula, aka the three books. You can only hold one book. If you're holding a book, it gives you access to beam three, six dice, mystic attack, and they're worth one VP each. The intrusions are the three Dormammu portals, but they're just going to be re represented by the blue secure tokens for our purposes. One VP for each one you are securing during the cleanup phase. You can also use them to teleport. You roll one die if it's a crit, wild, hit, or a shield. You get placed within one of another dark portal of your choice. Otherwise, you get placed by the opponent. So it's crosshair setup, essentially. So we have red, red, red. And then it's just off-center a little bit just to show that they're both there. But we also have the secure. Really, those should be swapped since the extract can be picked up. We'll fix that in a second. And then the other portals on either flank. So we'll get both sides set up, deployed and ready to go and then be back after this quick message from my channel sponsor. This video is sponsored by Noble Knight Games. Check out the video description below for an affiliate link that will take you through to their store and it will help me out as well. Thanks. And we're all set up and good to go. The Web Warriors are to screen left, the Cabal are to screen right and it will be the Web Warriors going first, both sides with the same number of miniatures. Uh, hopefully you can just about see where everyone is. The Web Warriors have kind of all clumped together, Thor on the caravan there, Scarlet Spider, Gwenum, and then Peer up at the top of the table there. On the right side of your screen, Bullseye down to the bottom right next to Malekith. Then we have Ultron, his drones, and Ulik at the top right of your screen. So, with that, let's jump into round one. Well, perhaps immediately trying to bait out Malekith activating, first up for the Web Warriors was the non-Web Warrior of the team. It was Thor, Hero of Midgard. He medium moves, and he's on that... Uh, 60 mil base is it? Either way he did a move and a tiny bit to get into the centre of the table there. Paid one of his two power, he still has the Asgardian passive so he has two power in the power phase to pick up the Montesi formula book and to secure that front portal there. He is there to be a tank. Now if he has three power he can do probably the best counter move ability in the game. Uh, kind of like tricks and traps that kind of thing but it's seven dice so it can potentially do a ridiculous amount of damage. Malekith was not ready to come out to play just yet. Bullseye activated. It's a simple move for him since he knows he's essentially safe. Uh, two threat now, medium move. Move down to the Dormammu portal at the bottom of the table there just to secure that. Essentially a wasted activation on purpose to force some of the web warriors up and within punching range. 
Ben Riley, aka Scarlet Spider, activated second for the Web Warriors. Moving to the far side of the closest Montesi formula, he paid his one power to pick it up. And then he has moved towards the centre of the table to help Thor secure the middle portal right there. Puts him in a little bit of danger. He's a fourth threat. He's basically the same as the fourth threat Peter Parker, more or less. Um, he has obviously slight variants to make him slightly unique, but more or less on par with that. Ultron activated, this is from the new starter set Ultron, so he's 5 threat, 8 health, and of course has his drones, he's a lot stronger than the original 4 threat version. His drones have to go first, they double moved and have moved there, they kinda wanna go on like a suicide mission, because when they die they explode and send out metal shrapnel everywhere, so everyone within range 2 gets hurt. So he's positioned them such that if they were to go down in the next activation, or anytime soon, Thor and Scarlet Spider are going to feel the effects. For Ultron's turn himself, he went to the far side of the Montesi formula, picked it up for his one power, which means all the books are now in somebody's hands, and then moved again, he just medium moves, to try and counter taking control of the central portal. Peter activated for the Web Warriors next, just leaving Gwenum after that, and he long moves, but one long move was not enough to secure the left flank portal, so he had to do a double activation move and it's just sitting there, and that leaves Gwenum for them. So it's over to Ulik or Malekith. Well, the Rock Troll was reduced down to just doing some more turn one movement, preparing for the inevitable brawl in turn two, where things could get dicey for the Web Warriors. Ulik moved medium twice to secure, or rather contest, the same portal as Peter, so currently no one is holding it. Gwenum is also a long move, and we'll hopefully see some shenanigans from her later, but for now, she just double moved to overwrite the draw on the same portal that Peter moved to. She did however pay her one power to make use of Friendly Neighbourhood Spider Team which is the affiliation bonus from The Amazing Spider-Man. Select an enemy within two and give them the slow condition unless they already have slow in which case you can place them within one. So Ulik is now slowed. Will it matter? Potentially. We'll see. So now it's over to Malekith to end off the round. Ah, the joyous reminder of how annoying it is to try and place Malekith amongst scenery because of those stupid bat wings on his pet tiger. Anyway, the man himself, there wasn't much he can do because of the price increase in his frenzy, which is his equivalent of charge basically. Being three now, he can't do it right from the off unless you've given him power from some other source. So he can't just do that and immediately go body someone turn one, which is nice um, for anyone facing him. But for him, in his turn one play, he just double moved to contest the centre and that means it's a draw, so nobody's going to be scoring that, but we can go over the details as we go to the end phase. At the end of round one, the Web Warriors have two of the three Montesi formula, one on Scarlet Spider, one on Thor for 2vp, and they hold one of the portals, the one that Peter and Gwen is at, so they have three victory points. Not super high scoring, but hey. The Cabal have the other Montesi formula book on Ultron for 1vp, and Bullseye is claiming the portal down here, so they have scored in total two victory points. So the Web Warriors are only ahead by one, they are still retaining first activation though, as we go into round two, and this is where things are going to get real, real messy. As we begin round two, we have a power phase tactics card, it's Masked Menace, with JJ on it, hopefully in focus, not quite yet. Well, the text is more important than seeing the picture, I suppose. It's a Web Warrior reactive. During the power phase, up to three allied Web Warriors can pay one to play this card. Peter played one, and Ben played one. You can place a camera token onto the battlefield within three of them, but not within three of another camera token. While within three of a camera token, allied characters, so not just Web Warriors, just allies in general, so Thor gets this benefit too, gain one additional power when they deal damage to an enemy with an attack or superpower. Remove all cameras from the battlefield during the cleanup phase. So JJ wants his pictures of Spider-Man, and as a result, they have stuck some cameras to the battlefield. So if we just come here, you can see them both. Ben's has been placed there within range three of him, and very far out of range three of the one that Peter placed, which is right there to try and optimize space around where the battle is going to happen, just to try and get some extra power this turn. So New Thor is scary and he can do a lot with his turn, so we're going to do this in two halves. He's only done one action so far, but there's a bit to talk about. So he activated, he did his basic attack, which is called Odin's Son's Ire, range 3, 7 dice energy. He did it into Malekith. Malekith spent one power on, what's it called, Cloak of Shadows, which lets him count a skull as a crit before you resolve crits. So he did that, still managed to only block once. 
but he took... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? He didn't take three damage. He took two damage. Doesn't change anything other than the damage, but yeah, he only took two. That will be corrected in a second. Either way, because of the wild in the roll, the lightning arc procced, which means Ultron being close gets zapped. You pick a number of enemy characters up to or less than the number of wilds in your roll within range 3 of your target and they can take 1 damage. So Ultron took 1 damage from that and because he got a wild and a hit he gets to push them back small. So that's why Malekith has been shoved back there. So that's just one action and because he did that within 3 of the spider token and did damage he's, he's getting 1 extra power on top of the 2 he generated. So he's still got 1 action left. As I say Malekith only has 2 damage that's the wrong token next to him but he's still going to do something else. Yeah this Thor is pretty powerful. He spent 4 power on his spender called I Would Have Words With Thee. You place him within one of his target, it's range 3, 10 dice physical, and after the damage is dealt, or rather when the attack is resolved, the target size 4 or less, you throw them away medium. So he did that into Ultron, he's rocking 4 physical defense, in fact, like Malekith, I think he's 4s across the board, I don't know, 5 mystic. Either way, Rolled really well, Ultron only managed to block one hit and took five damage as a result. That's him up to a total of six of his eight. But he got chucked into the car there, which also did one damage to him. So I think he's left standing on, yeah, he's got seven out of eight damage. So one more and he's down. Also, he is size three, so that car, which is size two, is destroyed. And that's good because that's one less bit of terrain to get destroyed to bring back his drones if they get destroyed later in the turn. And, the way Masked Menace is worded, it doesn't say once per turn, it doesn't say once per activation, so it's just each individual instance of a superpower or attack dealing damage generates one extra. Normally, that's a spender, it generates nothing, but presumably it still generates one because of Masked Menace. So, that might matter, that's how we're playing it, if that's wrong by all means, let us know. So out of fear of deactivation, uh, it was Ultron who activated. His drones have to go first, his drones have a 4 dice energy attack, it's just like photon beams or something. Attacked into Scarlet Spider twice, and he has your bog standard spider sense, so you can reroll up to 2 dice on physical and energy attacks against him, and dodges as well. Either way, Ben took no damage at all, so the drones did nothing. They're staying where they are though, and could still do some damage if they're actually destroyed. Ultron! Now this is where a mistake was noticed, or not mistake, a uh, misinterpretation. Um, Thor has a counter he can do. I thought it was like Tricks and Traps, Smoke and Mirrors, whatever the Mysterio one is called, uh, where you know if you move within, or end within two, he can do it to attack you. So Ultron didn't want to move in, out of fear of that being triggered, because he has enough power to do it. It's actually triggered if he gets attacked. <laughs> which is really, really powerful. So, Ultron being that far away from the point didn't save him. He did Extinction Beam, or whatever it's called, his Spender. Eight dice physical. It does a throw before damage is dealt, so that's why Thor has been flung backwards. He impacted the traffic light and has taken one damage from the impact. Also has pushed him off the point. But, oh, and the attack itself did three damage. Did pretty well. But, at that point, Thor had had quite enough of that, so he paid three for the power I've been referencing. It's called I See The Nay Villain. You roll seven dice and do one true damage for every crit and wild. And he did two, so Ultron is dazed. His activation is over, obviously, even though he had one unused action. Now, this is where the misunderstanding was. Genuinely thought that's how the counter worked. It was if you placed, you know, moved within him, but it's an attack. It's not really going to make a difference to this round because Ultron is dazed, but obviously he probably would have wanted to move adjacent to one of the portals to try and claim it if he hadn't been dazed. So, just making it clear, totally did not understand it, that it was a counter to an attack, which is just insane. <laughs> and yeah, he's damaged now, I think he's got 8 health on his healthy side, so he is hurting, but he has enough power to do that again. And sure, crits and wilds, there's only one of each on each die, but... That's still not bad odds to just make somebody hurt for trying to hurt you. And I understand why people are calling for it to be a little nerfed. Scarlet Spider was next up for the Web Warriors and he embarrassed himself a little bit. He did his basic attack, which is Scarlet Strike, 5 dice physical range 2 with evasive, sorry, elusive, if he gets a wild and a hit. His first attempt to kill the Ultron drones was literally 5 blanks. So that was something. Second attack did better though, did 3, they have 3 health. 
So they die, and when they die, they explode. So he takes one damage from the explosion. They technically should have had an activated token on them because Ultron got dazed, but they were already activated, so it didn't matter. But that's them gone. They can be placed back onto the battlefield next time some terrain gets destroyed. So I'm sure they'll be back, because that'll happen sooner or later with the kind of characters we have on the table. But Ben did that within range 3 of one of the cameras, so he generated 4 power instead of the 3. He's not doing anything with it, though. He was considering trying to teleport and use uh, all webbed up after going over where Bullseye is, but because of that one damage... I mean, he, he has uh, like a 6 health character on his healthy side, which isn't bad, but he's just going to opt to stay there. Ulik activated for the Cabal and just started swinging those fists of his. He started with Pounders into Peter, which is his 6 dice physical attack with a push on a wild. He did successfully push Peter back small, so that's why he's over here. Only ended up doing 1 damage against that mastered spider sense though, and Peter got some extra power off of that as well for rolling a crit. Then he spent 5? Five? 5, yeah. On Shatter Mountain Shatter Bones, 9 dice physical into Gwen. If he gets a bunch of different symbols, he can uh, give her an activated token. Didn't get those this time though. He did, however, just do the attack on her, which is enough that she gets staggered. So she's only doing one thing during her turn. She, despite being a Venom symbiote version of herself, has Spider Sense, which helped here. She only took 2 damage from that 9 dice attack all said and done. She is limited to one thing when she activates, or one action but it could certainly have been a lot worse, and Ulik ends his turn still contesting that portal. We're staying up there as Gwenum was the one to activate, she obviously shook her stagger first action. Second action she just did her basic symbiote spider technique, 5 with dice physical range 3. If she'd moved during her turn she can move again afterwards, or if she's attacked someone already she gets some rerolls I think. Either way in this case though it was just straight up 5 dice. Managed to do 2 damage, reduced down to 1 against Ulik with his troll hide. During her turn though, Aunt May's weak, Wheat Cakes was played. Gwenum paid 1, Peter paid 1, and Ben paid 1, so they have all healed 1 damage. It would seem that the Dice Gods have chosen their victor, or their, their chosen one, because Malik had activated, and it's going to be hard to believe the dice results, but bear with me. He spent 3 on Frenzy, it's, a, it's his version of charge, it's move, followed by Blade of Midnight. If he does damage with the Blade of Midnight, which is his 7 dice energy basic attack, he can throw or push, forgotten which, it's not going to matter in this case. So, he did his move, awkwardly positioned such as he is, and went after Scarlet Spider thinking, hey that's an easy kill. 7 dice, 8 dice, however much, he had 1 success, and he didn't want to spend on rerolls because he wants to save up for Butcher of Thors. So, that was a bust, but then he thought, well, do another one, that's that's not going to be as bad. True, there was two successes in the second Blade of Midnight attempt. It was also blocked. It's energy, he can spider send some rerolls, he had to on that one, didn't need to on the first one. So, Malekith, 7 threat Malekith, no damage. And again, yes, he, he has, what, 3 power left? He could have spent on some rerolls via the Cloak of Shadows, Midnight, whatever it's called, but... That f felt like, yeah, you might end up doing one or two damage. That doesn't seem worth it. It seems better to use either for defense or just save the power for the, the larger hits. But that many dice rolled twice should not have resulted in zero. So, yeah, the dice gods have chosen their victor today. Last activation of the round for the Web Warriors was Peter. He long moved back towards the objective. He then just did his basic five dice spider strike into Ulik and managed to do 3 damage reduced down to 2. He also got the proc for momentum, so you pick an, ally, an enemy within 2 of the target character, oh, of the target character, I wonder if that means you can't pick the target character. That probably means you can't, so never mind. He did 1 additional damage with the momentum move, because you count as being flung into the target, but presumably you can't pick the same one. So Ulik all said and done took 2 damage, not 3 damage, but it didn't change much because he was still on his feet. Peter generated one extra power for doing that within the camera token, and I think that covers everything. And now it's over to Bullseye, who's probably just going to sit on the objective for one victory point, but we'll see. Yep, dear old Bullseye down there, two threat Bullseye, he's just sitting there doing the finger guns at everybody. He is sitting there just to secure that one victory point, because it, the best he could do is try and teleport to one of the other ones, which would either make one of them a draw, or one of them a, a win anyway, and that's what he's doing by sitting there. So we're just going to go straight to the end phase camera tokens get removed from the table at this point. 
So then around two there, the Cabal certainly got a bloody nose and uh, as much as Ben's rolls were bad, they weren't Malekith bad because good grief, that was horrific. In terms of points, Web Warriors, Thor still got a book, Scarlet Spider aka Ben has a book and Peter and Gwen are holding one portal so they have gained three, taking them to six. Cabal, they've got the other book and Bullseye is holding that portal we just talked about so they gained two, taking them to four. So the lead has extended ever so slightly. Web Warriors are now two points ahead, six playing four, and as we go into round three, Web Warriors have retained first activation. Ultron will be flipping his card, his minions do not come back. Scenery has to get destroyed for that to happen. As we begin round three, slight correction, when Ultron got dazed, he was holding the book for the Cabal, so he should have dropped it, but Thor got pushed away, so and his turn was over. Ben technically could have went to try and grab it, but he, he already had one, therefore none of the Web Warriors would have got over there in time for Malekith's activation and he started right next to where it could have been so we're just going to count that Malekith is holding the book that's not ideal because obviously it could have been placed such that Malekith should have wasted one of his actions to go next to it Malekith did zero damage on his turn though and then he would have frenzied so he still would have ended up in the same place that's how we're playing it what happened so Malekith has the book hopefully that's okay so Ultron got round 3 started proper, for his first action he moved to where you can see him to help contest that middle portal again and also to get close to the danger. He then paid 3 for Kinetic Field Generator to pick up the car that had been there, the white one, and chucked it straight into Scarlet Spider's face and he fully dodged it with help from Spider Sense. So then he just did his basic attack which is Concussion Blaster, 6 dice energy on a wild, he can do bleed and poison. He didn't get any wilds, but what he did get was a bunch of hits and crits. And Ben ended up rolling nothing but skulls for his defense roll after <laughs> uh, an appalling defense roll. So he took five damage in one hit. Now he is pretty chonky, and thank goodness he used Aunt May's Wheat Cakes earlier, because he is alive on one health, and there's nothing else Ultron can do in, with his turn. Now, but he did destroy some scenery, so his drones come back onto the table within three of him, and they're supposed to be given a stagger token, but I don't know why that is because surely the count is activated because he's already activated unless that means they only get one action when they activate next turn which I guess is what it is but that seems awfully harsh let us know about that well this is going to be a little hard to see thanks to Malekith's wings or rather his pet's wings but Scarlet Spider Ben activated and immediately spent three on all webbed up so all enemy characters within range three of him get slow which in this case is Ultron Malekith, I guess technically the drones as well. But for the entire round, when a web warrior character is attacking someone suffering slow, they add two dice to the attack, which is pretty cool. So then he spent five on whatever a spider can, which is his best attack. Range two, eight dice physical. After the attack is resolved, he can advance medium. And he managed to hit Ultron four, which you can't really see because of the wing, three damage, which is okay. And that was making a 10 dice attack with the extra. Forgot that he got a free medium move as part of whatever a spider can after it's resolved because he ran away. So actually, he can still move again because he's only done one action. So rather than just run as far as possible, he is going to hide up here close to Gwen because Gwen has an equivalent of bodyguard. So he's going to hide up there with his one health remaining. So he's not done with his turn yet, but we're stopping one action into Ulik's turn just to show you it truly is that the Dice Gods have chosen their victor for today. He spent 5 power on Shatter Mountain's Shatter Bones into Gwen just to try and get rid of her to, because she's inevitably just going to protect Ben. And the dice roll for it is visible on screen, right there. You might notice that amongst all these many dice he was rolling, there was a single success, but she has already blocked. He still does the stagger, so he's limiting what she can do, but um, that's pretty bad. He still has one action left, let's see what happens with it. Well, this is why you should sometimes not open your mouth before an activation is fully completed. He did his basic pounder attacks into Gwen for lack of anything better to do, and there's the dice for that, visible. The initial roll was two crits and three wilds? Yeah, three wilds, and then it became another wild and a hit. She, even with spider sense, rolled no successes on her defense roll. So she took five damage. Well, actually, no, she took more than that, right? Two, four, five, six, seven. She took seven. She had five left. That's why I put that there. Wrong number. And that means she's dazed. 
She wasn't holding a book or anything, but she is, she's is. she got new model syndrome. The dice might be favouring web warriors, but she definitely had new model syndrome. But we'll still get to see what she does hopefully next turn, because she's sitting on 10 power now. But yeah, that's her out of it for this round, she will not be getting an activation. It was time for Thor to activate again, and good grief, he is so scary. He spent three on have at thee, which is he throws himself medium if you make contact with an enemy. You count as being thrown, but you don't take any damage from it. And he's size three, so that's four damage coming in. Chucked himself at Malekith. Malekith took two damage. He then did his basic attack for his first actual action, Odin's Son's Ire, seven dice energy. Into Ultron, didn't get a wild, but did manage to hit Ultron for two damage. The wings were in the way again. For two damage, which isn't bad. And that gave him enough power to spend on his spender again. I would have words with thee, which he did into Malekith. Ten dice, physical... Uh, he can get placed within one, but he was already within within one, three, so he did not need to give himself a lisp there temporarily. He smacked Malekith. Malekith spent on Cloak of Shadows. Uh, I, I said it was rerolls earlier on. It's count uh, skull as crits. He did that for one and managed to block two damage. Still took five and has dazed and will not be getting an activation. This Thor is insane in terms of power. He only has one power on him, speaking of that now, so he can't do any counters if he gets attacked. But there's also no one there to attack him anymore. Ultron's already gone, and Malekith can activate. It's over to Bullseye, and can he even pass? No, because Gwenom got dazed, he can't even pass. I do love this. Bullseye is just activating and unactivating. He's literally just sitting there typing, watching a, a portal open up and nothing come out, while literal gods are just meters away beating the snot out of each other. He does not care. He is just staying there and trying to get that one point over and over. He's done his job and he can be content with that, I guess. Well, here's how you turn that to your advantage. You make it a zero-sum game where no matter what decision is made, it equals something bad happening. Peter was left to go. Yes, that means the Cabal were taking first activation in round four, but he's paid one to travel through the portals and he rolled a blank, which means the opponent gets to choose. But here's the thing, no matter which portal he pokes out of and you can't poke out the same one, he can do something nasty. He wanted to go to the one with Bullseye, to fight Bullseye, which is eventually what happened. The alternative would have been to pop out here, where he's getting two extra dice against Ultron because he's slowed thanks to all webbed up, and just needs to do one damage? Yeah, one damage and Ultron is off the table. So, no matter what happens, it was a it was a win-win for Peter, so which definitely makes a change for how his life usually goes. So he popped out the portal here, he spent on whatever a spider can, and managed to take Bullseye from healthy to dazed. So he isn't just sitting there doing nothing anymore. At least he didn't get beaten up by God, I suppose. And that means Peter is now holding that objective as we go into the end phase. At the end of round three, two Montese formulas are still in the Web Warrior's hands. Ben Riley holding on to one just barely, he has one health remaining, Thor having the other, with four health remaining, I think. Two scored there, and Peter is now holding the portal closest to you down there. So they scored three, taking them up to nine. They've consistently scored three per turn, I think. The Cabal have the other book on Malekith, and they are actually holding the portal at the top end of the table with Ulic now, thanks to Gwenum getting dazed. So they have consistently scored two per turn and are now at six. So nine playing six as we go into turn four. It is Cabal going first now. And oh, another thing to mention, forgot. The Cabal uh, affiliation bonus should have kicked in when Gwenom got dazed, which is the, you pick a character to move and heal one. So Ultron has two health remaining. But I think that covers everything that should have happened. And with that, I'm going to round four. So much for consistently scoring two points per turn. Yeah, we just have a blind spot for one of the Montesi formula, apparently. Obviously, Malekith got dazed that round by Thor, so he dropped the Montesi formula he was holding and did not gain one victory point. So they only gained one for the portal Ulic is holding. And it dropped onto the floor. It's been placed there, so someone's going to have to work for it. Thor couldn't have picked it up because Thor is holding one, so it doesn't change their score or anything like that. And because of Peter getting spat out at the other portal, he would not have moved away anyway. So it doesn't change anything, but other than one of the books is on the floor right there. Well, it turns out even gods can fall as we begin round four. Ultron activated. His drones go first. They shot beams into Thor's back across both attacks. One damage. Not much. Ultron activated. He spent four on extinction protocols and zapped into Thor's face. 
his initial roll had five crits. Not an exaggeration, it had five, oh sorry, four crits, three wilds, which is pretty insane. Thor did pretty well with his defense roll, but he still took six, and that is enough that he is dazed. Ultron paid one to pick up the book that Thor dropped, and is just burning his other action, doing nothing. He's staying next to Malekith, because there's nowhere else that's safer, really, for him, and the other book is still just staying on the floor. So Thor is not getting a turn this round, which hurts. Had he had first activation, he would have done so much damage again, or if he'd just lived with the benefit of hindsight, he should have countered the drones just to get rid of the drones, but it would have been a waste. Peter activated and paid one to go through the portals, getting the result he wanted. He popped up to help out the currently dazed Thor. He spent on whatever a spider can and did it into Ultron. Did very well with it, five damage. That is Ultron and his drones off the table. I presume the drones aren't allowed to destroy if they're removed, I mean explode if they get removed like that. Then he just did his basic spider strike into Malekith because Malekith is sitting on 10 power anyway so might as well hit him a little bit. Managed to do two against him, he fluffed, fluffed his defense roll a bit, just not bad. And he's just going to sit there, he paid one power to pick up the book that Ultron dropped that he originally took from Thor. So the other one is still just sitting on the table over there. Well, Malekith activated and started by using Butcher of Thor as his 10 dice attack. Ironically not into Thor, he did it into Peter, who did well, but could not withstand the sheer number of dice rolled, plus two on Cloak of Shadows turning two skulls into crits before they're rolling extra dice. He took five damage from that and was bled by a wild, but that's not enough to take him out. He had one health left, so then Malekith just used Blade of Midnight, managed to do three into him, and that dazed him. So Peter's dazed, dropped his book, which Malekith has paid one to pick up. So that one's still there. That means Malekith is the only one holding the centre there now. So Gwen activated and sort of left Scarlet Spider to his fate. Sort of. She paid three, I think it was, for Dark Rage. It's a pick up and throw size three or less, and Ulic is actually size three. So she picked him up and threw medium to force him to only really get one attack against Ben, which gives him some odds of surviving. She then moved through the portal successfully to pop out here because she wanted Malekith dead. She spent on maximum Gwenum 7 dice physical, she can heal off of it, kind of similar to actual Venom, but she doesn't have any damage currently because she just flipped her card. And she did 6 damage to him. I forgot to mention that when Malekith dazed Peter, he healed for 1 and gained 1 power because of his affiliation bonus, but it doesn't matter because with the little bit of damage Peter did to him and the big damage Gwen just did to him, the mighty Malekith fell and it wasn't even <laughs> the very, very powerful Thor who did it to him. So, that doesn't bode well for the Cabal, now that they've just got a dazed bullseye and Ulic. but we're still going to play till the end of the round, obviously, and then see kind of what the score is. I think if Ben goes down, they've, they're still in it, but with Thor coming out of daze with a lot of power next round, I wouldn't rate their chances. Oh, has a couple of quick additions for Gwenum. She has an unused action, nothing else to do with it. She's just staying there, and she paid one to pick up the book that Malekith dropped. Well, it was a monstrously sad situation for poor Ulic, who activated, because he has that slow still, which means he's moving small, and he's one power shy of using Rock and Troll, which is like a five throw, which would have got him back with two attacks. Such as it is, he had to move twice to get over there, and is not attacking Ben this ter turn. He's just contesting the secure, so definitely not great. Ironically, the trolling of Ulic continued, so Ben activated, it had to be him. Everyone else is dazed or have gone. He moved medium to here, then he paid two for web whip. You pick an enemy character within three in right line of sight, you push it towards you small, which is where Ulic is now, then you place within one of them. So he pulled Ulic two right into his face here, placed within one, oops, placed within one, which was behind him, and then did another movement action as his other actual action, because Web Whip is a superpower. So not only did he pull Ulic off of the point, but he got himself to relative safety, because Ulic's attacks are all range 2, and didn't hit him, so he hasn't gained any more power. If Bullseye's feeling brave, he can travel through the portals to try and get him. He wouldn't be contesting the portal, though, because he's on his day's side. So he might just want that one point. Yeah, with that little bit of trolling the troll there, Bullseye's just staying there for the one point. Um, I think that might be it, more or less, but let's go to the end phase and decide. So at the end of round four, it's 
basically over, I guess. Gwenom and Ben have books for two victory points each, and Ben is holding one of the portals and Gwen is holding one of the portals. So they gained four that time instead of three, taking them to the 13 of the 16 required to technically call it a win. The Cabal, who are now leaderless and Ultronless, have only scored one, which is just Bullseye doing his job even though he was briefly unconscious for a little bit. So they're up to six. Now, Ulic is very strong. He's only got two damage on him, I think. So he can absolutely still be a problem, but they're never going to catch up with the point curve, especially if Bullseye just goes down. So we're going to go into round five, purely because Web Warriors have first activation now. Again, they took it back, and Thor's going to activate, and I just want to see what damage he can do before we end the game, because it's, it is over for the Cabal now. So the start, or perhaps only activation of round five, since, yeah, this doesn't really need to continue at this point, is Thor, hero of Midgard. He moved for his first action, far side of the book that was on the floor, paid one power, picked up. He had ten power, by the way. He then spent three on Havatthi to chuck himself into Ulic's face. He did three damage, reduced down to two. Then, just to really rub it in, he spent four on I would have words with thee and chucked ten dice into the rock troll. Four damage, reduced down to three with his rock hide, but that is still enough that Ulic is dazed and will not be getting an activation. Leaving just poor Bullseye down there on his lonesome, Gwenum probably wouldn't have much trouble sorting him out, but they could also just leave him to that one point. Thor is guaranteed, he's got eight health and Bullseye ain't killing him. Thor is guaranteed to score one. Um, ben could absolutely get taken out, which might cost them two. Gwenum is almost certainly scoring two. And Peter could pick up, you know, the book from Ben. Or just try and take out Bullseye. He's got ten power as well. He can just do two whatever a spiders can. Uh, or one plus basic attack after a web swing for two extra dice. So we're just going to call it there and save a bit of face for Bullseye. He did his team proud while everyone else got beat up. By Thor. So yeah, we are going to call it there. Technically the official scoring then if we end it as is, it's 13 to 6. By the end of the round though, it probably would have been about 18 to 7. A very fair victory there. Oh, well, fair isn't the word. A very comfortable victory, that's the word, for the Web Warriors. But let's face it, it's Thor, hero of Midgard, that swung that because they would just be getting eaten alive by Malekith and Ultron if it weren't for him. He is very good. The dice were absolutely not in... The Cabal's favour, Malekith whiffing twice in one activation, obviously catastrophic. But Thor wasn't rolling like insanely well, it's just he's rolling so many dice. He only got to do his counter once, he almost did it on Ultron but he got dazed that one time. He is insanely powerful, he actually felt as strong as Thor should be. Again this isn't the official model for him but correct base size etc, same correct stat card. So I understand why people are calling Thor too. OP because he is insane but that actually felt like how strong Thor should be. I'll never forget that Thor 1 has been like tabled twice in this series by like just Magneto in one activation. Yeah, so it feels like he should be that strong. He's the god of thunder. He's he's the character they hope will beat the big bad in every ma massive event in Marvel Comics. Sometimes he gets the Vegeta treatment and he has to be there to be the one to lose to show how strong the villain is, but you know, insanely strong, love it, hope he isn't nerfed, because it's fun having a Thor that, is, that feels comic book accurate, powerful and scary. In terms of what the Cabal could have done, the dice were against them, so I don't really know what they could have done. Um, yeah, it was just down to Malekith getting that one duff turn that cost them, I think, because he would have taken out Peter early, or would he have, no, he would have taken out Ben early. Ulic getting that slow and then getting pushed away and being one power shy of being able to use rock control to immediately get back into Ben's face and attack twice, that was just, it wasn't bad luck, it was, he, he did too many Shatter Mountain, Shatter Bones into Gwenum. He would have had plenty of power if he didn't keep doing that, so, I don't know. Either way, thank you very much for watching. That was a fun one. Definitely going to see the new Thor on the table again soon. Uh, probably this model, because I do not like the official model. It doesn't make any sense. The more you look at it, the more it sucks. Thank you for watching, though. Please do remember to share your support. Leaving comments, liking, subscribing all helps. If you're a channel member, which is a way to support the channel, you get access to certain video series early, including this one. 
So hello to the channel members before everybody else. Hope you enjoyed. Or you can check out the channel sponsor. That's where I pick up my Crisis Protocol releases from. Uh, you can check them out via the affiliate link in the description box. If you buy anything after pressing through from there, I get compensated as well. Either way, enjoy your day. Happy Halloween if you see this around Halloween. If you're a channel member, you will. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.